Some would say North Korea is at it again, recently firing two short-range missiles conveniently timed while White House National Security Advisor John Bolton is in South Korea. South Korea and U.S. militaries are sharing detailed information about North Korea's firing of projectiles. We urge North Korea to stop such actions that do not help the efforts to relieve tensions in the Korean Peninsula. Whether or not the missile test had overtones, the nuclear talks between the U.S. and North Korea are moving, though protracted. It's been only three weeks since that impromptu sit-down with all smiles and handshakes. A very, very good meeting with Chairman Kim. Progress that's being made even though the positive tones haven't always been there. Remember this tweet from a couple of years ago? Being nice to Rocket Man hasn't worked in 25 years. Why would it work now? Clinton failed, Bush failed, and Obama failed. I won't fail. But progress since then has been positive. Michael O'Hanlon with the Brookings Institution. Therefore, I think there's a realistic path forward with diplomacy with North Korea. It is imperative to deny the United States. However, where Iran is concerned, the relationship has been rocky and is rocky. And we hope for their sake they don't do anything foolish. The U.S. pulled out of the nuclear deal and imposed sanctions on the regime, and it's been downhill ever since. Most recently, Tehran has ramped up aggression, shooting down a U.S. drone, also accused of attacking ships in the Strait of Hormuz. The president with a warning. They will pay a price like nobody's ever paid a price. Rhetoric is plentiful, but direct conversation between Iran and the U.S. is not happening. The regime not interested because of sanctions. Interestingly, both North Korea and Iran are the subjects of U.S.-led sanctions, and both are humanitarian nightmares by U.S. standards. Mr. Trump is trying the charm offensive approach with North Korea and trying the get tough approach 